I have to go to work now, though. Okay. Killing is bad. Like, unacceptably bad. I know, I know. I'm done. Done, I swear. Ready, and three, two, one, action! This script is fun. It's very quick, which I love. Anything gets too slow, I'm instantly bored. So I knew with this script, it would not be boring, especially the way Thomas shoots. Everything's like boom, boom, boom. So it's got such a unique look to it. You're never gonna be waiting for something to happen. And doing these fight sequences have been something I've always wanted to do. So that's been a big part of this project. Three, two, one, action! I was really pleasantly surprised when I first read the script, partly because films of this nature involving a couple very rarely involve a couple in love. What I loved about it was that it's essentially a love story wrapped in the skin of an action comedy. And I've been happily married for a very long time. And I find that what Dave and Emma are going through in the film even though it's extreme in some ways, you could even argue absurd, there are very relatable things they're going through as a couple. Things getting a little bit stale, so they feel the need to role play. The kids are a constant presence, so they're losing touch with each other. Secrets that are problematic as they get revealed, insecurities, but it's all going through the lens of a real and true love. And that's what I really loved about the script. Hey, Ma. Emma has kind of made a deal with her handler. She does a couple of these kill jobs a year and they were supposed to get less and less and less. It was an old life that she had and she didn't want to be part of it anymore. So she obviously meets Dave and has this great family, but she forgets their anniversary and she's so upset about it. So they end up having a date night that turns into a role play night where they're different people and they meet up at this bar and they're very excited to kind of, you know, jazz things up. And unfortunately everything goes wrong because someone is at the bar that knows who Emma used to be. Now she's put her husband in danger and her family and she's pretty much screwed. Dave Brackett is a loving husband and father. He was a widower and then fell in love with Emma and so now has two children, one by his deceased wife and now one with Emma. And he is someone who, what you see is what you get. And I think that's what makes him such a great juxtaposition with Emma's character, who what you see and what you hear and what you know is definitely not the totality of who she is. So these two people being in a relationship together brings out a lot of fun stuff because Dave is an open book. And so as he starts to discover some of the truths he's been living with without knowing it, it's just a lot of fun. And that's one of the things I really love about him. Emma. Emma Brackett, B-R-A, are you checking the yes, correct sir. flight? 702. I have all the flights here. I, I, I'm sorry, sir, I, okay. I've already searched and there is no bracket listed or waiver. Two T's at the end. B-R-A-C-K-E-T. There's T. nothing else. I have all the flights there. Where is she? My 
stunt double, who's also a really good friend of mine, she helped me and we started working with Taekwondo teachers and different fight choreographers that she had worked with. And then I started working with an arms team back in LA as well. I just wanted to start getting comfortable around weapons, not looking like I'd never done this before. I was really, because even just holding it by your side, you can be outed very quickly if you have if you know what you're doing or you don't, you know? Um, so yeah, I started months before we started shooting this and I am so glad I did because it made the biggest difference. Like you push in and you go, okay. don't run right away. Okay. Okay, good. Good, go. Action. Kaylee is a very special human being, both as an actress and as a person. We, we met for lunch, and almost before I had said hello to her, I'd never met her before, she said, OK, I've got 20 questions for you, and you're going to answer them truthfully. <laughs> and she read off these 20 questions, and they were things like, socks on or socks off, which do you prefer? Mushrooms or goats? Like, the weirdest questions imaginable. But what happened after these first 10 to 20 minutes of us meeting is that we knew things about each other that you should only know if you know someone a very, very long time. That is Kaylee. She is someone who is incredibly open, funny, friendly, and someone who I just fell for instantaneously. I, I knew within that lunch that this was going to be, at the very least, a very fun experience. We were meeting for lunch, and it was like, I don't even know this person. This is so awkward. So right when I got there, first of all, David's just, he's got an aura of warmth around him, so you're immediately comfortable. And I sat down, and I was like, okay, I know this is like super awkward, but I have a game we're gonna play. The walls are gonna come down, we're gonna get to know each other in like an hour. He was like, okay. So I took my phone out and I just started asking him questions. It was like, favorite color, favorite vacation spot, favorite, very simple. And then I gave him my phone and he asked me the same questions. <laughs> and by the end we were laughing and it felt like we'd known each other for years. And he was like, that was so genius. I'm like, it was really genius. So I'm gonna use that. I don't know what possessed me on this specific job, but it had been the first time that I can remember that I truly met someone that I'd never met that was meeting someone to play my husband. Even at that same lunch, I said to him, why do you want to do this movie? <laughs> like, I really wanted to know. And he goes, because I've been with my wife for over 20 years, and I love her more than anything. And this movie is about that and how much I'm going to stand by my wife. And it was so sweet, and he really meant every word of that. He knew what the actual core of this story was. And in that moment, I was like, oh my god, this is my husband right there. Mark it. It took me a while to sort of get my bearings with Berlin. I feel like it's almost a hidden city in a sense. You, you drive around and you go, okay, I'm trying to grasp it. And then you start going into buildings and you start going into restaurants and you start interacting with people and you get a lot more of a sense of the place. And I'm here with my family and uh, you know, we're really growing to love it. But it is a place you sort of need to stick at it and get underneath its skin to really feel the pulse of it. It's been great. I feel like I know the town as well as I know Los Angeles at this point. I know these studios, which has been really cool. It's been great. I'm, how lucky am I to be able to travel around the world and play pretend? So it's more on you I do that. No, sorry. Do that. Pum, pum. When I do that, do you think you can have the other arm on the other like, side? Like across him. You know what I mean? No. This arm going here, yeah. this arm going the other way. Yeah, okay. Boom. Yes. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like pu try to push. Boom. So, you get it? Mm -hmm. So you need to fall with the arm on the other side of the body. Let me try it. Okay, you look I... ah! <laughs> no? 
<laughs> Let it out. Turning. I know. Turning. It's just like, it just does this all the time. Yeah, all the time. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to shine the sun on you. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Bill Nye was amazing. The one scene that we did in the bar, I mean, it must have been 10 pages of dialogue. And he had like chunks, chunks, chunks. And anyone would have understood if he wanted to hold his script or do it by piece by piece. He, we came in and we rehearsed and he knew every single word by heart. It, it was like an acting lesson. It like took everyone's breath away. He was so brilliant. I really bonded with Bill actually. We had such a fun couple days. He was just so wonderful and I loved working with him. You have to clap again. Yeah, you have to clap again. I got excited to do some sort of action and fight sequences. There was a lot written in the original script and it just felt like such a female empowerment <laughs> film. And like, you know, I'm so physically active in my off time that it, I've never really been able to show that on camera. So that really did attract me to the film and just the speed of it and the pace and the kind of two stories going on. It had, it had an interesting vibe that really caught my eye. Audiences are going to love the relatability of the film. At the end of the day, it's centered around a family, which is always, I think, a universal thing to anchor a film with. It's a family that love each other, a family that are on the surface fairly ordinary, and then you dig a little deeper and they are extraordinary. And that's why it's a film as opposed to, you know, a home video. Even though there are fantastical, maybe even absurd things about the adventure we go on, people will be able to see themselves reflected in Emma, Dave, and their family.